Number one, I had a passion for trying to connect small businesses and empower them to be amazing. Number two, I fundamentally believed the only way we're going to fix Africa is through creativity and technology. And this quote for me is really pertinent because you know, it speaks about extraordinary people surviving under the most terrible circumstances and they become more extraordinary because of it. And I think about Africa when I think about that statement. I think about how much we've been able to survive and how much we're going to go on to become more extraordinary because of it. And in the 21st century, all signals are pointing to us as the most extraordinary place to be and to do business. Because I put it to you that being human is the one thing that's going to enable us to survive even in the age of augmentation. As the development of the human wellness condition gets better incrementally, how is it that technology is improving exponentially? Right? So we can send people to the moon, but we can't feed people on Earth where we have to lead at this, what they call the speed of light. The rate at which things change mean that your organization in, internally has to change at equally the same rate, if not faster, for you to be relevant. We saw that there are very specific problems that we have to solve for as entrepreneurs in the context of emerging markets, in particular in the context of Africa. And so we need to find these leaders that have the ability to straddle these unrelated fields and be able to lead in a way that is not based on fear, but based fundamentally on curiosity and based on dynamism. And the problem often is that people are afraid to go where others have not gone before. New areas and new things that are gonna force you to think differently about what you need to do. And my fundamental belief is as we get better and closer to understanding that, it's gonna be very easy for us to think about how we're gonna change the world. Is there a way that we can use technology to try and sort of, if we can, bridge that trust relationship? And number two, how can, you, how can we use technology to sort of give us a bigger uh, footprint in the, in the right type of clients' minds that we're looking for? So as a starting point, you'd want to match your, your organization's objectives as closely as possible to a platform that suits what you're trying to achieve. The second thing is if you look at social media and digital marketing, there's a spectrum of things you can do. Digital marketing can be considered as simple as sending someone an SMS. It can be sending someone an email, all the way up to the complicated stuff we talk about with Facebook advertising.